let's talk about how we pull views on the sheets. I'll go to my section sheet right now. And from my section, I want to make sure here, if I'm looking at my sheet, if I want to pull a section or a plan or a view, we always want to pull here from the view map. You never want to pull from the project map. I see users do this all the time where they go in to the view map, they have it set up, it looks the way that they want it to look, and they take this and they drag it and drop it right onto a sheet. Well, what they've done by doing that is they have now gone in and they've created a new custom view that will show up here at the very bottom that will just be called the name that came in from the project map. And what I'll start to see over time here is in this list, they've got all their folders and organization that's set up that makes sense. But when you go down to the bottom, you'll see main level placed in here 20 different times for your finish plan, for your reflective ceiling plan, for all the views that you've set up that are back in here that are named correctly for your ceiling, for your finish, for your key plan, for your life safety plan, for your demo plans. But they're all showing here as main level. And what they're doing is back on the sheets in the layout book is they're now taking that and they're going into the settings here and in the drawing settings, they're changing the name of this here. So it's not even tied to the name. So if the name of the view changes, it's not reflecting that. So they're going to see multiple views that are set up as main level number one. And if that drawing name changes or anything else updates, it's now a manual process. You want to make sure that if you're going to pull in a view, you want to make sure that you do not see main level multiple times, upper level multiple times, sections randomly named down here in this list because that tells me that you've been creating these views by dragging in from your project map, not your view map. Here, I'm going to go ahead because I don't like to see this, not even one of these. I'm going to delete that view out. And if I want to go back to a sheet and I want to pull in here my enlarged plans, or if I want to pull in here my reflective ceiling plan, I want to make sure when I'm on that sheet that when I go to my view map that I'm going to pull this view in as my first floor ceiling plan. I will drag it and drop it right now. So I've just gone to my layout. I double click on the layout sheet. Then I, as I'm looking at the sheet, one of the easiest ways to do this is to go here to the view map and drag that and drop it here. If you have enough real estate, you can always open up your organizer and you can have it set up where you can look at your views of your project and your layout sheets at the same time. And you could very quickly and easily go back down here, navigate down to my demolition plan and as I go to my demolition plan, I can take right now and drag and drop demo. I can drag and drop here to my second floor. And I can see that both my demo plans are now being set up with my upper level and my first level. And when we name these correctly in the view map, all that information is going to come over directly from the model. It's just a filtered out view of our floor plans, our sections, our elevations, all being driven directly from the model. And you always want to make sure here as you pull these drawings onto the sheets, when you're looking at your detail bubbles, your section, your elevation, interior elevation markers, you want to set those up and you can leverage here. If I hit F2 to go back into plan, when you're creating new bubbles, you want to make sure that you're using the favorites that are already set up in here. That way when you create a new section and I cut a section through an area, the moment I take that section from the project map, let's go back in. I don't have enough real estate here today, so I can't do that. But if I go back in here and I have a clone folder for my sections, there's section number eight. It's set up and it's named eight section. We could get rid of that. And as long as I'm updating this here in the project map, we'll call it our building section. There's the name of it. It's all set up based off all these settings that we've already defined. And when I get ready to pull that over to a sheet now, I'll go to my section sheet. And the moment I pull this in from here, building section, I'll pull it right in. Here's my sheet. Here's building section. It's drawing number one on sheet 301. And 
Now if I hit F2 to go back into plan, I'll see that that's now drawing number one on 301. If we go back to our layout sheet here, if I right click and do a new layout, we can duplicate here by just clicking and holding. If I want to duplicate, I can duplicate by holding down Alt on the Mac or Control on the Windows. I can drag a copy of this or I can just right click, new layout, sections, creates a new section sheet. And if I do drag my 302 back up, it's going to become 301. That means now that section is going to fall on 302 drawing number one on 302 and our plans, and our details, everything is going to automatically update. As long as you're using the correct section tools, elevation, interior elevations, as well as detail bubbles here in ARCHICAD.